So what iron loft should you be playing? Well, today we're going to take a deep dive into looking at the different head designs and the different lofts and which deliveries they're going to be best paired up with to give you the best results out on course. So welcome back down to Elite Performance Golf Studios. I'm Ross Walker, and today we're going to be taking a deep dive into head loft in irons specifically. We look a lot at driver lofts, but we don't always look at our iron lofts. And this is a very important part of the fitting process when you come for an iron fitting. So today, we're going to be looking specifically at the Callaway uh, family. So we've got obviously the Apex MB, the Apex Pro, the Apex Standard, and the Apex DCB. Now, these all have very different head designs. We won't be diving into head designs too much today, but they all have very different lofts, starting at obviously blade, very traditional, and then going all the way down to the DCB at what would be considered quite a strong lofted 7 iron nowadays. Now, what we're specifically going to be looking at is how this impacts your results, depending on your delivery. Now, I see a lot of different deliveries come in here, day in, day out. Some people who hit down a lot, take a lot of loft off, get really get that shaft leaning forward. And also a lot of people that kind of have a little bit more of a scoopy delivery. So someone who would be a little bit more kind of shallow, so not really hitting down on it very much and therefore delivering more dynamic loft at impact. Now this is going to create very different launch conditions. So let's get stuck in. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a set with the Apex MB of my normal delivery. So my normal delivery would be hitting quite a lot down on it, somewhere between six and eight degrees down and taking off a reasonable amount of dynamic loft. So probably somewhere between seven and nine degrees of dynamic loft taken off. Uh, that would be my normal delivery. So I'm going to hit a set with the Apex MB doing that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up my delivery. I'm going to try and hit a lot more neutral to not hit down on it and just generally be a little bit more scoopy and add a little bit dynamic loft, again, with the Apex MB. So now this is probably quite an interesting take on stronger lofted irons. So for a lot of people, obviously they'll not whinge, but um, kind of not understand, I guess. And for some people, yeah, that's a really bad thing to be playing, but it all depends on your delivery. So, you know, if I've got someone in here that's taking off 10 degrees of dynamic loft versus someone that's adding two degrees of dynamic loft, that person is probably going to benefit from having a very different lofted set of irons because the delivery is in a completely different spot. Um, so regardless of your delivery, we just want to get the ball flight, the control, the distance, everything in the right area to optimize your game. So let's get set with this. Okay, so there's a pretty typical delivery for me. Um, bring it up on the 5.5 down, so it's probably a bit shallow for me. 26 degrees of delivered loft, um, which again, uh, 34 degrees static loft would taken off by eight degrees of loft. Uh, launch at 18, spin at 64. So that with a blade is, uh, is pretty, pretty standard. Uh, I mean, I will get a few more, um, you know, to give us a good idea of, of an average delivery with this. Um, and then we'll change up to the, uh, slightly different delivery. Okay, so I have a quick rundown of those numbers. That was with the Apex MB with just my normal swing, normal delivery. Uh, as we can see there, we're averaging 127.7 uh, ball speed, 17.8 launch, 64.85 backspin, um, peak height of 114, descent of 49, uh, average carry of 179. Um, so, you know, those, those numbers are, are pretty nice. Um, you know, peaking at 114, descending at 49. Certainly wouldn't really want it much higher than that. 49 is a really, really nice steep uh, angle of descent into the greens. Uh, 114 is a nice peak high, uh, average 180 carry. You know, launch and spins in a pretty nice spot for a 7 iron for me. Um, and if we look at uh, the club delivery on average, there's a couple of shots missed there, but on average, 97 club, 1.3 to efficiency. That's really solid. Um, so hitting six down and averaging 24 loft. So six down and 24 loft, so taking off you know, almost pretty much 10 degrees of loft on average on that one um, and hitting six degrees down on it. Um, so that's uh, therefore given us those launch conditions of 18 launch and 64 spin that we just kind of touched on. 
So let's do exactly the same with the Apex MB, exactly the same club, but I'm going to change up my delivery a little bit. OK, so there's a good look at the, uh, my normal numbers with the MB, kind of my normal delivery. Um, now we're going to take a look at some more kind of scoopy deliveries. Um, so I'm just going to have weight right back, and I'm going to be throwing the club, just trying to add dynamic loft to it uh, to see how much that impacts the numbers. Um, and you'll say that maybe that, you know, that extreme isn't so common, but to be honest, day in, day out, I see probably far more people that are neutral angle of attack and deliver kind of a similar loft to the club. So, you know, the Apex MB being 34 degrees, 7 iron, they would actually deliver at impact 33 to 35 and be neutral, one down maybe, sometimes even one up, um, compared to I don't really see a lot of 6, 7 down and 10 degrees of dynamic loft taken off. So it's far more of a common delivery actually being a bit shallower and a bit scoopy from what I see, um, which, you know, we, we fit a lot more of your typical weekend golfers, not your plus handicappers, although I have done quite a few plus handicappers. Um, the average kind of person is more of the 10 to 30 handicap. Um, so we see a little bit more of the scoopy type deliveries. So let's have a look and see what this does. Okay, so again, there would be a good typical example, a bit more of a scoopy delivery, should we say. So hitting, still hitting down on it, I'm really not trying, but uh, it's quite hard for me because I hit down on it a lot. Um, so 1.2 down, we delivered 36.3 degrees of loft, so adding two degrees of loft, and that increased the launch to 26 effectively, um, and backspin to basically 8,000. Um, so, I mean, interestingly, you can see my club speed there hasn't really dropped. If anything, it might have even increased where I'm really throwing the club. So, 98. It was a little bit tuppy, to be fair, because you can see the efficiency right down at 1.2. So, therefore, less, the more loft we deliver, obviously, the less efficient the strike is going to be. Obviously, more ball speed out of a driver, less out of a lob wedge, right? So, pretty, pretty simple. The more loft we deliver, the less ball speed we're going to get. Less ball speed, more launch, more spin, high floaty, weak ball flight, and the uh, distance there carry 152. And obviously, with my normal delivery, I was somewhere around kind of 175 to 180. So 25 to 30 yard loss in distance as well. So that's huge. Um, so going to get a good few more with that delivery, and then we'll look at a head-to-head -head comparison in the two deliveries. Okay, so let's take a look at those numbers. It's going to be very, very interesting. So we're going to dive onto the, uh, the laptop. So here we go. This is the blue dot one here. Is the Apex MBS stands for scoop. Um, we'll compare them both in a minute. But um, you can actually see at the top of the screen there was the average of the, um, the normal kind of delivery. So we went from essentially 128 ball speed down to 120. Launch at 18-ish up to 25 spin from 64 up to 76, um, and therefore we lost 20 yards of carry distance, 20 yards of carry distance, um, and we added 20-odd uh, feet of peak high, and descent went from 49 to 54. So that's just launching at 25, spinning at 76, that's launching high, the more spin, spin obviously just creates lift, so we launch it high, it spins and it just keeps going up and climbing. Too much upward momentum, nowhere near enough forward momentum. Um, I mean, that's going to stop on an absolute dime, but we do not really need 54 degrees of descent angle. I mean, you're going to be struggling to play in any sort of windy conditions, and into wind, it's going to go absolutely nowhere. Um, so if we compare those two, just in purely in terms of distance at first. I mean, look, look at the flight difference is just absolutely crazy. Um, obviously, that launch and spin just being through the roof. Um, and then if we look at the club data, in all fairness, I did hit the Apex MB a little bit, um, the Scoopy delivery a little bit more toe. It was a little bit harder for me to strike that. Uh, it's not exactly my normal swing. Um, but you see efficiency, massive drop, 1.32 down to 1.22. And I actually swung it faster. Um, just n absolutely no efficiency. Dynamic loft 24 versus 34, so there we go, kind of uh, 35 pretty much, so 11 degrees almost of dynamic loft difference. That is the real big difference. Um, you see dynamic live, face angle, a little bit, uh, little bit of differentiation there. Um, path was, was quite a lot different, obviously. I was swinging a little bit more across. 
Um, and then attack, obviously, we went from six down to two down. So we still did hit down on it a little bit. But um, the, big, the big difference there is that dynamic loft, uh, which is just creating a huge, huge difference. Um, right, so let's jump into the, I'm going to go DCB. So it's just going to go straight to the DCB, the bigger, stronger lofted iron, and I'm going to do exactly the same again. Okay, so that's the Apex MB done with both deliveries. Now we're going to jump into the DCB. I don't know if it will focus on that. It might do. Um, but we're going to be uh, jumping into the, the DCB, so going from the uh, 34 degrees in loft to 30 degrees in this. Um, so exactly the same shaft. haven't changed that, just changed the head. Uh, this is a Modus 120X, if anyone wants to know. Um, so yeah, four degrees stronger in loft. Um, not only that, it's obviously a very different head design as well. Um, so loft for loft, we probably get more ball speed from this head and different launch conditions as well because of where the mass is positioned. Um, we'd probably get slightly higher launch and slightly lower spin. But again, not diving too much into head design today, more than just talking about loft and how your delivery, um, you know, can give us very, very different results based on what, what we give you in a fitting. Um, so, I'm jumping to get a set of this back with my normal delivery first. Okay, so that's the set with my normal delivery done with the Apex DCB. So if we jump straight into those numbers, um, obviously we can see there ball speed at 132, launch down at 16.3, spin down at 55, um, giving us an average carry of 191, 113 foot peak height, and a descent of 48. So all in all, actually, those numbers are not too bad. Now, obviously, the launch came down and the spin came down, but the ball speed went up meaning the more ball speed we've got, the longer the ball is going to keep climbing. So the peak height was actually very, very similar to the Apex MB for my normal delivery. Um, because even though, like I said, launch has been lower, more ball speed equals keeps climbing for longer. Um, and less spin, obviously, as well. So that's going to keep the ball moving forward. So we go to the compare page quickly. It was a bit more left-sided, to be fair. I did struggle with it more than the MB, certainly, turning it over a little bit more, but there you go. So we can see uh, DCB normal versus Apex normal. Let's actually take the scoop out. Um, so we've got five mile an hour ball speed, lower launch by 1.5, lower spin by about 1,000, and 12-yard uh, carry gain. Um, and you can see there why the peak height is very similar because at the peak height of the, the MB, it's still climbing, it's still going up. Um, and yeah, just get that little bit more carry. So, I mean, essentially for me, you know, it wouldn't really be a massive detriment to me gaming that because I've got enough speed to get the peak height, to get a nice angle of descent, uh, but I, ne I never would over the, over the blade. I mean, carrying the blade 180 um, with those launch conditions is, is more than enough. So, now for the kind of Scoopy DCB. Um, it's going to be an interesting one to compare the Scoopy DCB to, uh, to the Scoopy Apex MB. Okay, so you know the score. Still DCB. Now we're going to scoop it up. So it's going to be a very interesting comparison from the MB scoop to the DCB scoop because obviously we get a lot of players who like the thin top line, want to play that blade type, but have a slightly um, scoopier delivery. In that instance, at the end of the day, we're here to do a fit and we're here to look at the numbers. We're here to advise what we think is going to help you play better golf. If you want to play the blades, play the blades. Um, but generally speaking, going for a head design and a loft that's going to get that launch and spin in a better window um, is not only going to create a better ball flight, but it's going to generate more distance as well. So definitely going to help you play better golf. So. Let's dive into this and uh, see what the numbers say. So yeah, there we go. There's a good example of a scoopy one with a DCB. Obviously, it's delivered 29 degrees of loft. So obviously, this is 30. So we took off one degree of loft. Um, and we actually hit 0.4 up on that. Um, and it carried 174, spun at 5,900, um, still launched at 25, so very high launch, but 59 is not mentally high backspin. 
um, and therefore we're just getting more distance. Uh, obviously, we're getting more ball speed because it is less delivered loft. But for a seven iron, 29 degrees of delivered loft is probably still high, um, even though it's a stronger lofted iron because of the way we deliver it. Um, so we're going to get a few more with this and then we're going to jump in and look at all the numbers. Okay, right, so let's dive into these numbers. DCB, kind of more scoopy vibes. Um, so as we can see, you've got the DCB normal up there with the green dot, again, that average is there, and then all of these pink ones, DCB scoop. Um, so ball speed 124, launching at 24 degrees, spinning at 5,600. So now, interesting thing, I mean, if you look at the normal delivery versus the kind of a bit more scoopy delivery, and we'll look at the differences in delivered dynamic loft in a minute, we spun at 55 with a normal delivery and 56 with a much scoopier delivery. It's like no different, which is a testament to the head design of that, that Callaway DCB, where the mass is positioned. So, you know, when we're striking it probably a little bit lower in the head with the scoopier delivery, the, the spin just isn't really climbing much, which it normally would. So lots of mass down low. Um, so, yeah, 173 carry, 140 foot peak height and descending at 53. So... Now, a lot of the time, people will look at spin rate um, and say, oh, that's, that's very low, isn't it, for a 7-iron? Um, yeah, possibly a little bit, but not really for the way you deliver the club because if we've got high launch, we don't really want high spin. So, you know, it's going to launch up and then spin just creates lift. It's just going to keep climbing, um, which essentially is what it did with the blade. Um, so again, we'll look at the comparisons in a moment, but the blade was 25 launch and 76 spin. So launch wasn't actually that much different, 24 with the DCB versus 25 with the blade, but that 15 yard carry difference is because the blade is just, it's just spinning. It's just, it's just not really, it's just climbing and it's just weak kind of flight. Whereas at least when we've got higher launch and lower spin, it can keep going forward. <laughs> it doesn't just keep kind of ballooning. Um, and again, you had a little bit more peak height there. Although it was lower spin, again, more ball speed. Just kept it climbing for longer. Um, so one thing I do want to dive into is the comparison between the Apex MB Scoopy delivery and the DCB Scoopy delivery. So again, it comes back to the idea of stronger lofted irons and why sometimes they can be a good thing. Um, if you do deliver too much dynamic loft at impact, having a stronger lofted set of irons is, is not going to be a bad thing. Um, so there we can see 15 yard of carry distance like that. That ultimately is the be all and end all of, of this discussion, I guess. You're gaining 15 yards of carry distance and a, actually a better ball flight as well because that 7,600 backspin with the blade in a windy condition, especially into wind, it's just going to climb and climb and climb and go absolutely nowhere. So you've got more ball speed, you've got more distance, and you've probably got more control, especially in windy conditions. And still, with myself, with a 50, is it 52 or 53 descent angle, I mean, it's coming in super steep, so you're not losing any control whatsoever. This is a much better ball flight. Um, and then on the flip side, with the normal delivery again it's kind of the opposite but the same if that makes any kind of sense um, so it launches a little bit on the low side and spins a little bit on the low side um, for me with that DCB again with my speed it, it climbed to a decent peak height and a decent angle of descent but I just don't really want 190 yard carry with my 7i to be honest I don't really need it don't really want it the 180 with the blade is plenty the 1718 launch to 6400 spins really really nice and balanced. So yeah, just just don't really don't really need it. Um, and coming into a, we're talking about people with less speed. Uh, that's when the stronger lofts we kind of need to be wary of um, because obviously it's going to launch lower, it's going to spin lower, and therefore if you don't have that ball speed to keep it climbing for long enough you won't get that nice peak height and a nice angle of descent. So this is where kind of coming for a fit and we take a look at the delivery, we take a look at all of these numbers and fit you into the best thing for you based on your delivery and based on your speed. I can get away with a lot because I've got a reasonable amount of speed, so it always climbs. I'm always going to have a lot of control. Like we saw in the blade, it's not necessarily a good thing with that amount of spin, but you know we can get it in the right place for your game. So I think that kind of sums it up pretty well. 
Um, I hope I covered everything. Actually, let's have a quick look at the dynamic loft and angle of attack because they're the two variables that really uh, that really matter when it comes to kind of launch and spin. Um, so if we look at the club data, first of all, with the normal the normal delivery, my normal swing. Um, so we had 24 and 20. So yeah, I mean, it's four degrees. So it's exactly the difference in the clubs themselves. So I delivered them very similarly um, because I was taking off the same amount of loft. Essentially 10 degrees, 10 degrees. Um, so that's a very fair, very even test. So you see swung them within one mile an hour, got more efficiency out of the DCB, obviously stronger loft, more ball speed. Um, but yeah, the loft was very, very similar and angle of attack within 0.2 of a degree. So those two variables, angle of attack and delivered loft, virtually the same for the club. Um, so let's do the same with the scoopy. So this will be very interesting. So dynamic loft, again, it's, it's basically exactly the same. It's four degrees different. It's four degrees difference in the club. Delivered the blade with 34.8, so maybe slightly more, and then the DCB with 30.4. So pretty much the static loft of the clubs is what I delivered at impact. Um, and I did hit down a little bit more, to be fair, with the, uh, the Apex MB, which um, could have added a little bit of spin, I guess, really. But the main thing there is just the loft of the helm, helping us take off four degrees extra loft, and the head design, where the mass is positioned, is going to create different tilts and therefore different kind of uh, gear effect from the club itself. That's going to change the numbers massively and why we see a big, a big difference in that spin. Um, but yeah, as of angle of attack and delivered loft, de the delivered loft is <laughs> so similar. Um, so yeah, I hope that just gives you a little bit of an insight into uh, what we'd look at, I guess, and why maybe strong loft are not always the worst thing um, in golf can benefit some people. Um, I mean, in that case, I would be saying, look, probably go and you know, have a lesson work on the delivery a little bit because delivering less loft and hitting down is going to create a much better, much more consistent strike for you. But it's another discussion. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions or anything else you want me to do, leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.